What have I personally subtracted, sacrificed to get to this level? I've subtracted women multiple times over the last few years. I've literally went months without talking to a girl. I've went fully like months without busting a nut, which, you know, no offense, you might find that normal. For me, it wasn't. I was from the age of like 19, I was fucking like literally five times a week, at least, if not more like 20, 25, if I had like a consistent girl. Over the last few years, whilst I've been an entrepreneur, there's been times where I've literally went for months without speaking to girls at all, just so I could focus because of how much I'm distracted by women and sex. I've sacrificed friendships with people who don't align to my goals and aren't serious with life, even though if they were like funny, nice people to be around. I've sacrificed fun times, like smoking weed with people and, you know, like smoking weed with girls and stuff. And then because when I smoke weed with a girl, I get super fucking horny. I can last way longer. And so it's amazing because I get to have really enjoyable sex and I don't fucking do that so that I can then come and actually, (laughs) not come, but I can actually focus on my business, my craft and my goals. I've sacrificed Video games and movies. You know, I always shit on video games in my videos and people think I like hate them. I fucking love gaming. I literally had like a gaming PC when I was like 13 years old and I was playing RuneScape and GTA when I was like seven years old. I love playing video games, but I literally stopped playing them years ago because I knew that it would just sap my desire, my dopamine, to be able to put into my craft, my business, my self-improvement. Sugar and junk food has been my biggest crutch of my life. That was like my remedy against like a traumatic household and abusive parents. I used to binge eat because it would give me a sense of comfort when I'd feel full. How deep is that, right? I gave that up. I gave my, my, feeling of comfort from food that made me feel safe. I gave that up so that I could become a winner. It brings a fucking tear to my eye to think about how hard I've worked over these last few years. But it is not just about how hard you've worked, but about how much you've sacrificed so that your life is just streamlined. You know, recently I was just talking to my brother and I told him, I want to become like a world-class entrepreneur. It's like the goal that I've set for myself. And I started to look at the world-class entrepreneurs that I really look up to. Alex Samozzi, Sam Ovens, Charlie Morgan, Alex Becker. These are people that you can go and rewind and go check their names and watch their YouTube videos because they're amazing, amazing entrepreneurs. And one thing I've noticed about all of them is that they lived very, very simple lives. They wear the same clothes without caring about it. They live either by themselves or with their wives. None of them are being like playboys, fuckboys. None of them are living in the middle of the city and doing the sort of high value man thing that I just was. I'm wearing a fucking more expensive watch than all of them would wear. And I started to look down upon myself. I was like, do I want to look cool or do I want to become fucking great at the game that I'm playing? The game is entrepreneurship. And I thought, fuck, well, yeah, like I do. So the thing that I'm personally sacrificing now, if you like care about my personal journey, is the image that I could be showing to the world of like, look at me guys, I'm young, I'm successful, I'm sexy. I could go and live in the middle of a city and and go and sleep with loads of girls and that'd feel really fun. But I'm here to fucking build and become like an amazing, amazing businessman. Not just like make money, like that's like a side effect. I just want to become like a world-class entrepreneur who just understands particular things. Like I'm really interested in like business mindsets, entrepreneur psychology, like the mindset part of, of business so much. And I want to become amazing at that. And looking at these guys that are my role, role models, I've realized all of them have such simple lives because they've subtracted these like cool things that I was currently doing that was a distraction. I went to London for like a week. I stayed in like a five-star hotel. I had literally dates like every single night. I was going out and getting wine with these like really beautiful women from like Eastern Europe. I wasn't partying, but I was with the boys and it was hype and we were drinking. They were smoking cigars. I don't smoke or anything. But you know, I was living this like vibrant social life, but I knew that that was more of a distraction to this big goal that I've got. So I subtracted that. I literally moved back to my parents' home. So I've got like a little grounded place where I'm focused and I can just go all in and soon I'm about to do something quite extreme if I make the plan work that you'll maybe see me do soon. You want to build success? This is your action step that I want you to really take seriously. Get like a pen, piece of paper, notepad, or write it in the comments, whatever, and answer this question. What are a few things and people that I could subtract to make faster progress to my goals?